I view ketosis a little different than all these doctors view ketosis. What happened is you run out of sugar. Your body says, I gotta run. You have all this body fat. And your liver tells the HDL and the LDL, hey guys, your job, give me cholesterol. You give me cholesterol, I'll convert it to energy. Ketones. Uh, the liver will convert to ketones. And the L, L go out with the HDL. The HDL do all the heavy work. HDL actually go into the fat, remove the cholesterol, and if there's LDL around them, then the LDL goes ahead and gets the cholesterol from the HDL. The LDL runs back to the liver. The liver takes the cholesterol from the LDL and makes ketone. So that is why when you go into a, a state of ketones, you melt fat away from your body because the HDL, they actually remove it from your body. In my case, I hope that the HDL and the LDL go all the way down to my feet, they go all the way to my nerves, and on my nerves there's excess fat, because for decades I've been living in a, in, in a state of too much sugar in me, and they'll collect the, the extra fat off the nerves, and my neuropathy will get better. That's what I hope. This is how this doctor, this is how this doctor says it. So <clears throat> when you're not consuming calories, right? When you're not consuming calories, the insulin levels obviously drop because insulin only is produced when you're taking in calories. So your insulin level drop. And I found through all the research that so what happens now is the body through all its chemicals and changes realize that, hey, I need an alternative source of energy. Well, guess what? You do have it in the form of fat because you stored it away for a rainy day. Well, the rainy day has come because you haven't eaten. So when you don't eat and you're fasting, now the rainy day has come. And your body has to start mobilizing the fat stores. But the problem is that all of us are hyperinsulinemic. So, so long as your insulin level is high, those fat stores are locked away. You cannot mobilize them. But when the insulin levels start coming down because you're fasting, now those fat stores, because they get hormone-sensitive um, uh, lipase and, uh, and other hormones, as a result, the fats start mobilizing. The fats now come in the form of triglycerides to your liver. Your liver will start producing some ketones. And the ketones can be utilized by the body as an alternative energy source. So fasting unleashes a whole new metabolic pathway of energy production through ketones. And you and I do that, or supposed to be doing that, naturally because it's built in our system to do that. Because you are not supposed to be eating every two hours, and our physiology is such, it's, uh, you know, we, we were about more than 10,000 years old and our, our, our genetic engineering is from that time when you eat now, and you may not eat again for another day or two. Um, and therefore, during those times, you have an alternative source of energy. And we just didn't realize that. We thought there was only one energy source, and it was all sugar, 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 and glucose only. But no, there's this other pathway of it, uh, available to us. So what is the advantage of having that alternative pathway? Well, when you use that alternative pathway, you're getting rid of the fat from the body. So you don't develop um, the obesity that we're getting nowadays. But more than that, more than that, the body makes you stronger because you're going in that pathway. Why? Because the body wants you to survive. So you, 
when you're in a survival mode, you're going to come back stronger and better than before. Because, look, if you don't have calories, uh, you, you think you're just going to crawl into a cave and die over there and just become weaker and weaker and it's not my mind, can't think anymore, and you just crawl. No. Nature wants you to come back stronger, become brighter, smarter, uh, stronger than before, go out and, and, and get your food so that you can get And that's what this ketogenesis is all about. It, this, uh, this new pathway is not just providing energy to you. It's actually bringing you back better. Bringing you back better. So the research I've found is that when you allow this to happen, it's a kind of a hormetic stress that you're creating on yourself. Hormetic stress means that you're creating a stress on the body, which is going to bring you back better. So when you do this fasting, there's so many benefits. Number one, I'll, tell you, I'll just rattle them off, basically. There's a thing called brain-derived neurotropic factor that is released. And that makes your brain brighter, smarter. You can actually grow new cells and neuroplasticity as well, which is fascinating because we never thought that this was possible, that our brains can actually uh, grow, uh, grow back. So BD, uh, you know, brain did have neurotropic factor. And then when you, when you do feed yourself afterwards, this is the, 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 there's a release of stem cells into your bodies. These things don't happen under normal circumstances when you're constantly eating. So this stem cell mobilization is fascinating information. Growth hormone. During fasting, you get growth hormone. You get more growth hormone production um, during fasting than at any other time. So your growth hormone allows you to maintain your muscles and repair. That's fascinating stuff that's going on inside your physiology uh, when you are in the fasting mode, which you wouldn't at other times. And then there's this thing called autophagy. And I know there's a lot of people talking about autophagy and you, you, you. I'm going to make another one on autophagy, but uh, another video. This is an excellent video. I should probably listen to it several times. I'm going to split it up since it's so good. But this is the process that's either going to take away my neuropathy or not. Now, either, either I could get the HDL and the LDL to go into my feet and remove the ex excess fat that's around my nerves, that making it tight for my nerves, that's giving me pain, or I don't. If I don't, it'd be 12 months of, 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 of cleaning myself out super well. I should not get cancer. It should not take care of cancer. Not exactly true, though. There's, there's a man-made cancer that, that we, we, we inflict upon us intentionally, unintentionally, that, that can occur. But I hope not to be in that situation. So I'm going to work on the other one, on the other video and post them, and I'll link them all into one playlist.